Today we find out if the new Walmart mystery cubes are complete garbage, like we expect them to be. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and as you guys saw, I was able to get some of the mystery power cubes. These were actually sent to me by a viewer who sent me actually a lot of other stuff, so we're gonna be opening up all that stuff in this video. But first, we do have a quick giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. This is a Metal Raiders Time Wizard. It does have some foil bleed, which is pretty cool. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know what you think about the new Walmart Mystery Power Cubes. This is what they have inside, so it's not looking promising. Let's check out the note that I was sent by the people who sent this in. So we have, hey, Ruxin, it was so nice to meet you at Nationals. As promised, here's some Walmart Mystery Cubes. We hope to get some sick pulls. We also included some of the other stuff you might or might not. In the small white box, there are some promo cards. Feel free to give them away. There's a bonus giveaway for you guys. There's also a bubblegum sticker pack from DM, but it will be sticky inside if you open it. We learned that the hard way. Anyway, good luck with your pulls and say hi to Chels for us. Hi, Chels. She's not here, but she'll hear it later. Sydney and Sebastian, let's see what they sent us. All right, so this is part of the giveaway for you guys. We got Beat Raptor, Fury of Fire, Goddess. We got the Fury of Fire, Goddess, and another Beat Raptor. And then we've got the bubblegum. Apparently, if you open this, it's a little sticky. So uh, keep that in mind. And then, of course, the Millennium Shields. Very, very epic. So you love to see those. Classic card. All right, that's being added to the giveaway. So big shout out to them because they sent me four of these new mystery power cubes because I was unable to find some recently when I went to Walmart. So we're going to have four different ones that we get to open up. And uh, I really appreciate it. So thank you guys so much. They also sent a tin that we're going to open up. That'll be fun. And then a few blisters of Synchro Storm. So can we get that Baron? Oh, these are light edition. Oh, that's pretty cool. So these are like from uh, usually from like Dollar General or something like that. I don't know. Maybe they come in Walmart like because they're like the blister packs. Not sure. And then finally, something that is not actually a card, but it is a Blue Eyes Toon Dragon Pop. So you guys have been sending me or I, like these collections I've been buying. They've had a ton of these pops. So I've actually got almost all of them. I feel like at this point, probably not. There's probably a bunch I'm missing, but I have like seven or eight of them. So pretty cool. All right. So let's just get this party going and start off with some light edition. There's also bonus cards in here. So you get a couple of light edition packs, which if you don't know what these light editions are, they're basically like dollar general packs there's a wait wait what is this oh battle pack i thought it said retro pack i was like that's a little not that's a little too new for that all right so light edition has what how many cards three cards per pack so this is already a terrible set this light edition like can you imagine if we pull the baron or like a ghost like that'd be pretty insane so let's see what we can do uh the liberty i mean baron is still always a possibility though at a hundred and whatever dollars okay nothing in that first one and honestly for a bad set you know having a 100 hundred dollar card we will take that for now and that's temporary because it's going to get reprinted soon. So uh, keep an eye out for that, guys. If you have one, you're not playing it. You might want to sell it. Not financial advice, but we do know that as soon as that thing gets that secret rare reprint in Legendary Duelist Season 4 or 5 or whatever it is, I guess it's 4 at this point, that thing is going to be crashing. So keep that in mind. We've got two Legendary Duelist Synchro Storm. Let's go. We have the Synchro Explorer. Speedroid Horse Stilts and the Totem Bird. Okay, so so far uh, you're not guaranteed to like a foil or anything and even the general packs, but on the light packs as well, you're definitely not. So let's see what we can do. If you even get a foil, it's pretty crazy. Pennant of Revolution. Okay, so no foils in there. That's okay. That was still fun to open. I've never actually opened a light pack, so that's pretty cool. Oh, wait, we have another one. And speaking of light packs, I am opening them in the every pack opening that we are doing at 150,000. If you guys missed the video where I announced it, go check it out. Uh, it's going to be insane. We're redoing the every pack opening. We're trying it again over two years later uh, because I know you guys want to see something like that and it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to open up all those packs again. It's going to be a crazy video. So hopefully you guys will get hyped for it. Oh, a super rare. We got something. Let's go. We got the uh, the barrel canary. So we got a super right in the middle. Speed Road Ultra Hound. I don't think he's that great, but a foil is a foil. We will take it. Then we have the Stardust. We got the necro floor and the synchro dilemma all right so we got a foil i consider that a win but wait 50 percent of you guys are not subscribed to the channel according to this graph so go down below and click that subscribe all button. right it's time for the main event power cube i also still have the 10 but we're gonna open up this power cube first will there be something good in this power cube will it be another garbage product just like those graded mystery boxes and those uh you know random 20 card packs that we opened the other day let's see if we can you know do a little bit better than that five rares and 35 commons apparently you can get a stardust starlight or a red eyes dark dragoon starlight i'm guessing that you won't get that though let's just keep that in mind but oh we got a top loader, the most valuable thing we've probably going to get in this entire thing, but we'll see. There's not even a lot of cards in here. Like, look, there's only 40 cards. I mean, they tell you 35 and five right up the, right off the bat, but 40 cards. I believe these are $15 each. Ah! So if you compare that to like the 20 card ones for $5, these are even worse. These are three times as much, but you only get double the cards. You do get three more rares, which means just regular rares probably, but 
Think about this. This costs three times as much as those like the worst Yu-Gi-Oh products we've ever seen. These might be the worst if they don't have anything good. Let's see if they actually have something good. So there's probably one of our rares. Not great. And by the way, these are rares from collector rare sets. So uh, these are just commons, essentially. So they're not just rares. I mean, they technically are rares, but in those sets, every card is either a rare or a foil. Nothing is common. So this is essentially a common that they're giving to you as a rare. So there's another one. OK, this also from Genesis Impact, also from Genesis Impact, also from those are our five rares. So we essentially just bought 40 commons. We're going to keep looking through here to see what we can get. But we essentially just bought 40 commons for $15. And by the way, they actually sent me these for free. So I didn't actually spend any money. So shout out to them for actually, you know, taking the hit on this and just doing it for the content. But somebody spent $15 on these for nothing. So wow, it's, it's just messed up. Yeah, these 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 products shouldn't exist like they're that bad. Jack and the what does that mean? That's a little weird. OK, let's keep going. Melfi Pony, we got the Dogmatica. Is there anything good? Come on, hide and seek, disposable learner. Are we going to find? OK, let me know in the comments right now. Are we going to find any good cards in all four of these cubes? Let me know. Rainbow Zoo, we got the Awakening of the Possessed. Doyon, oh my gosh. Blizzard, Flourishing Frolic. We got the Junk Sleeper. Nine Lives, Giga Thunder, Elegant Egotist, Triangle, Rose Lover, Alluring Mirror Split. Oh my gosh, it's just a bunch of commons from legendary duelists and stuff. Oh no, there's nothing good. Decoy, Harpy Lady 2, Harpy's Pet Baby Dry. Wait, what is that from? Legendary Duel Season 2, so that's definitely not worth anything. Uh, oh, that Ruxin special. Oh, Egg Angel, okay. Hey, look, we got a Metal Raiders common. That's cool, at least. Uh, we got a, what is this? Portuguese LOB, is that what that is? Okay, kind of weird. And then another Portuguese LOB, so. $15 for a bunch of commons. Great. So once again, big shout out to Sydney and Sebastian for sending me these. And uh, yeah, because this is pretty rough. I mean, these are about as bad as it gets. All right, guys, let's open up this tin just to like re clear. What is it called? Uh, cleanse your palate. Cleanse our palate of that garbage. And let's open up some Mega Tins. Speaking of Mega Tins, Mega Tin 2022 is coming out in like a couple of months. And we do have pre orders down below with Sassy Auto. And uh, there's a discount code down below if you guys want to buy some of that. So go check it out. Let's open up some of these. 2021 was pretty awesome. The Mega Tins are good pretty much every year because they have great reprints and this year it's definitely no exception it's really amazing stuff let's see if we can get something crazy we have the mutually afford destruction okay multi playhouse soldier gaia the dark lord uprising goki the power load ogre infernoble arms we'll say we got the uh, armory call and Raphael lord of phantasms i don't think this one's very good but it does look really nice we'll take that neshadal ariel and i can't okay there we go barbaros struggling with these cards so rookie for hire all right, some nice stuff there. Everything seems incredible when you compare it to the mystery cubes because they are just that bad. I just can't believe that they're like even upping the ante on those 20 card packs. Like they're even worse somehow than those. Melfi Tag, Resonator Command, Melfi Mommy, Feed Ram. We got the Buzzsaw Shark, Dice Dice, Melfi of the Forest. We got the Thunder Hand and Cross Sheep was a pretty good card. I don't think it's really worth too much, but the Grave Trick. The Grave Diggers Trap Hole, I cannot speak, is actually a pretty good one as well. And then the opening of the Spirit Gates. All right, so not a bad pack there. I think Grave Digger was around a dollar, something like that. I'm our first dollar card of the day. I doubt we're getting one out of the cubes. Unless they just randomly accidentally put a good common in there, which will probably, uh, you know, be our only chance. One or eight. We got the Awakening of the Possessed, Disposable Learner, Melfi Hide and Seek, Chaos Summoning Bees, pretty cool. Deep Sea Area, and. Virtual World, he may Nyan Nyan. We got the Lili and the Chaos Ruler, the Chaotic Magical Dragon. The ca and the Chaos Ruler, the Chaotic Magical Dragon. I totally messed that up big time. You enjoy those decent cards? Well, stop enjoying it, because here we go. We've got ourselves a tin. I mean, not a tin, a uh, Mega Cube. I just can't believe how few cards are in here. For it used to be like on these when they're really bad. Well, so here's the thing. They've been doing these kind of things with Pokemon. I mean, the top loader is literally the best thing we've gotten so far. When they used to do these kind of things, they would always have like two or three packs as well. So it's like, okay, you're spending 15 bucks, but you get two or three packs, some random cards, stuff like that. But now, like, it's going the Pokemon route. The Pokemon cubes have been like this for a while, where it's just a bunch of loose cards. So yeah, it's pretty upsetting that they kind of switched over to that. I guess they know that they're going to make money, so they're doing it, which is just messed up. So here we go again with the commons that are or rares that are actually basically commons. OK, still all the same thing. They're literally all from collector rare sets, which means they're just commons. All right, Bujan Amaterasu. OK, is there anything good? Crash Bug X. We've got a low blow. Magic key locking. OK, this is 
interesting. By interesting, I mean terrible. This is one of the best cards we've seen so far. Terraforming, I'm sure it's not that great because one, it's in like mod play condition. And then two, it has a lot of reprints, so it's probably not that valuable. Hey, look, more Metal Raiders. Can we get the Pecanio Moth? Only way to save this thing. We've got another Portuguese card. We've seen a lot of Portuguese cards, kind of weird. Uh, Rattan, because I mean, who wants Portuguese commons? Let's be honest. Uh, going to key Sioux ship, the Jar of Generosity. Okay. So more junk. So we're 80 cards in. We have yet to pull anything decent besides maybe like a terraforming common, which you could call a decent card, but just not that valuable. Like these feel worse than the 20 card packs because like in the 20 card packs, it's like they're five bucks. You know, it's like whatever, you know, you're probably not getting anything. They're still really bad, but these are $15. How is that right? That is just messed up, man. Look who it's from. MJ Holding Company. They're definitely not affiliated because they are complete garbage. MJ Holding Company. If you see something by MJ Holding, it's probably really bad. So uh, yeah, they do the mystery boxes as well, which they aren't very good either, but at least you get packs. So there's another uh, top loader. That's the only thing I like is that there's a top loader in here. <laughs> Everything else uh, completely worthless. All right, come on, let's get something. Is this actually a regular rare? No, nope, another Ancient Guardians. Oh my gosh, Ancient Guardians, Ancient Guardians. So these are all just commons basically in their, their rares technically, but they're commons like unbelievable. So there's really nothing in these more of the same stuff legendary dual season two and which is basically when you have comments from legendary dual season two for the most part it's all bulk this is a decent card in like speed duel but that's it that this isn't speed duel you can't use that card because it's not a speed duel card ghost trick festival oh my goodness guys this is insane this is just nothing oh the cousin we almost got the pequeno why is it always the cousin moth cousin moth is always the one popping up where's the pequeno Okay, by far our best card. Yeah, we'll, we'll set that up back there, but we're going on to the final cube. Sydney and Sebastian, thank you so much for making this possible so that people can see they should not buy these, which I know a lot of you guys probably already know. Yeah, these are obviously a scam, but uh, speaking of scams, let's just bring this up again because this needs to be brought up in YouTube videos. Scams, YouTube comments, do not send anyone any money on WhatsApp because that's not me. If they say you want to give away in the comments, it's a scam. I have never replied to a comment saying you want to give away. Never. And I never will. It will always be on the YouTube community tab. And if we ever do anything that changes that, it'll be announced like 20 times. So that is not happening. It is on the YouTube community tab. Please don't reply. Please don't send them money. I know multiple people have been scammed. We've mentioned it probably 20 times on the channel. I've messaged people individually, but people still don't know. So do not reply to those YouTube comment scammers. That fits perfectly with the theme of this because this is essentially a YouTube comment scammer right here, except it looks a lot nicer. Like, ooh, Starlights, maybe I could get that in there. You got five rares, ooh, yeah. That's what this is. You're gonna spend your 20 bucks, you're gonna get nothing. With those YouTube comment scammers, they're gonna ask you to spend $75 on shipping so you can ship you the giveaway, which is ridiculous, by the way. If you live in the US with me, it costs me like five bucks to ship you something. Uh, if you're in the e international, it's probably 20 bucks max. Nothing is $75, so that is not me. Do not send them money. I need to bring this up in every video, I feel like, because people just don't hear it, so. Keep that in mind, guys. Do not get scammed by those people. Also, don't get scammed by the mystery power cube. So don't do that as well. Let's just get that out there. All right. Oh, too bad I said that at the end of the video. So most of you guys don't even hear it, but let's just keep going. Final chance to actually get something good. Will it be a YouTube comment scammer or will it be, you know, decent? Okay. Oh, look, Gen Genesis Impact or whatever it's called. Totally not basically a common, which it is. The Book of the Law, another Genesis Impact, another Genesis Impact, another Genesis Impact, another Genesis Impact, wow. Okay, talk about an epic opening, guys. These are some really bad stuff. Like, this is just frustrating. So like, about $60 worth spent. So you could have almost bought a booster box, essentially. There's that bank with a million, it's just rubbing it in our face. So 60, okay, let's think about this, 15 plus tax. I mean, you definitely could have bought some booster box instead of that. And people are getting, you know, you're getting zero dollars out of that. So you got nothing unless you just really like the larva moth. That's about it. But just don't buy those guys. Please don't buy them. They're really bad. And please don't reply to YouTube comment scammers. Don't message them on WhatsApp, Telegram, any of that junk. Do not do it. And if someone asks you for money to ship a giveaway, just say no. I don't care if they're the real person. If you're talking to real me and I'm like, hey, I need $75 to ship it. Block me. Do not do that. That's ridiculous. So thank you guys for watching this. Uh, Mildly frustrating video because we got to the YouTube comment stuff, but uh, I just don't want any of you guys to get scammed. I appreciate all you guys watching me and supporting me for so long. Do not spend your money on like random stuff that is just people like trying to steal your money. So thanks a lot for all you guys watching and supporting. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Tonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Squirtle, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Dizzy, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, John Nolan, Anunta Tai Show, Thomas McLean, Seth Fisher, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.